Hello, my name is Joel Grimes with the Small Wheeler Product Group based in Clayton, North Carolina. We're here today with the all new CAT K Series Small Wheelers, including the 924K, the 930K, as well as the 938K. We're going to share some operator tips with you so that you can get the most out of your new K Series Small Wheeler. Starting in January of 2014, Caterpillar is pleased to bring to you an industry first in high stat operator modes. This is going to give you, the operator, the ability to adjust the characteristics of our intelligent hydrostatic powertrain to meet your personal needs. The best part is, we're going to be able to update K Series small wheelers all the way back to first production. We will bring online a torque converter type field mode a conventional hydrostatic fuel mode, and an ice mode setting to maximize control on really slippery underfoot conditions. Come on and have a look. Let's see how to make those adjustments. To make an adjustment to that high stat operator mode setting, we're going to come into information, OK on the setting screen, scroll down to machine, OK, and then scroll down to high stat operator mode. Now out of factory, we're always going to be in the default mode, which is a marriage of high stack characteristics and torque converter characteristics. Now, if you're chasing classic torque converter feel, freewheeling feel down a slope or on a grade, we can come down to TC mode or torque converter mode to get that powertrain characteristic. For more classic high stat operating mode, like aggressive braking, aggressive deceleration, we can come into high stat mode, OK, and we will get that type of feel. The last setting, ice mode, exaggerates the torque converter feel with freewheeling, such that we don't break our tires free on ice or snow. It softens the directional shifts so that we maintain maximum control in those slippery underfoot conditions. Here we are in a long load and carry environment where we can use our high stat operator modes to change the characteristics as we coast down hills, around corners, and back up grades. We're going to go ahead and play with each of the modes so that you can see the difference in the coast out characteristics between each one. Starting with default mode, I'm going to accelerate to the top of the hill. I'm going to get off the gas to let it coast to the bottom and then back on. Let's have a look. Let off the gas, coasting down the hill in default mode, and then back on the gas and accelerating up. Now we're going to switch over to TC mode or torque converter mode in our high stat operating screen. Now torque converter mode brings on a slope compensation logic, which is going to allow this machine to coast down that grade, almost free will if you will. Let's have a look. Now I'm coasting down in TC mode. I feel less engine braking as I coast down the hill and I'm much quicker around the corner at the bottom when I get back on the gas. Now let's have a look at high stat mode. Now high stat mode is gonna give us a conventional aggressive deceleration type feel as we coast down this grade. So into my high stat operator modes, I'm gonna make the high stat mode selection and let's have a look. As I coast down the hill in high stat mode, I feel the aggressive engine braking bringing me almost to a complete stop at the bottom of the hill before I get back on the gas and carry on. And finally, let's have a look at that ice mode setting. Now this was designed to reduce the deceleration so it's very smooth and controlled on a very slippery underfoot condition. To show you all four, we're going to go ahead and put that into ice mode even here in this long load and carry run. So over to our screen, into ice mode, and let's have a look. Here in ice mode setting, I feel very little engine braking down the grade, as it was tuned to keep the wheel spinning on very slick underfoot conditions. Now a very subtle but important difference in all of the high stat operator modes is what the machine behavior is when you put it in gear at idle. Now, in default mode, 
in torque converter mode as well as ice mode. When we put the machine in gear, it's gonna creep forward just like a torque converter style powertrain would. So as I put the machine in gear, the RPM is gonna come up to 1,000 and I'm gonna to start to creep forward very slowly, just like a torque converter powertrain system would. As I go into reverse, same thing. It's gonna to start to creep backwards. Now, high stat mode is a bit different. As I come down to my high stat mode, when I put the machine in gear now, the machine is not gonna move unless I give a little engine RPM, then it will start to move. And as soon as I take my foot off of the gas, it's gonna to come to a smooth and controlled stop. In reverse as well, put it in reverse. In high step mode, it will not move until I give it a little bit of gas. And as I let off, it'll come to a nice controlled stop. As you can see, the high stat operator mode selection makes a big difference in that coast out characteristic down a grade with the family of K-Series small wheelers. My recommendation for the long load and carry application is that new torque converter setting, which gives you that freewheeling feel and it helps you save fuel. Here we are in a fine pick and place environment on a pretty tight yard. Now my recommendation for this type of application would be high stat mode because you're never going to get any unintended motion. Let's go ahead and put high stat mode to work. As you can see, with high stat mode, we get excellent control in precision pick and place type environments. Now that we've been introduced to the new operator modes in the K-Series small wheelers, let's put them to work for us. Here in application, I'm in a snow-filled parking lot where ice mode is the correct setting to help me do my job. Now into our secondary display, we can navigate down to our ice mode and we're ready to go to work. As I get off the gas in ice mode, the smooth coast out is gonna maximize my control. And as I do my directional shift, I keep my wheels fixed to the ground, even on this slick underfoot condition. If high stat operator modes would add value to your job, please get with your cat dealer and have them update your K-Series small wheeler to bring these operator modes at the touch of your fingers. As you can see, the all new CAT K-Series small wheelers have been designed for operators. We hope that you find these operator tips useful and help you get the most out of your K-Series small wheel loader. Looking forward to seeing one on your job site. Now let's go to work.